Wait, whoa, what was that? Whoa. Fallout 4 Dreams Edition. Work in progress. Step into the wasteland and experience Fallout and Dreams. Includes a total of six quests during free roam and four mini games. Special thanks to the Futuristic X and Drink Water 200. Expect slow frame rate. Enable higher frame rate from my preferences. It's an action apocalypse, apocalyptic Fallout fan game. First person futuristic robot RPG shooter. Let's. Should we go ahead and try it? Expect low frame rate, so it could be a little bit on the janky side. Yeah, make sure you select higher frame rate. This level just works. Dude! Holy freaking crap! They did it! That feels just like the intro sequence of freaking Fallout! Holy shnikes! Oh, holy shnikes, dude! I am freaking out! That is incredible! Holy! What is this? What is going on? What? Welcome to the tutorial. Let's quickly get through everything you need to know. What? Shoot by pressing R2. Aim. What? <laughs> A final death says, what the heck is Fallout for? Is Fallout for dreams? It's Fallout within dreams. I gotta shoot the target 18 times? Okay, that seems a little excessive. That seems a little excessive. I don't know if I need to shoot it that many times. This is your health bar. Keep an eye on it during combat. You can eat food or use stim packs to survive. Awesome. This is pretty insane, man. If you lose health, find stim pack, food or stim packs. So take the stim pack. Nice. Hit boy. <laughs> Use this stim pack, holy crap! Holy crap, man! You can heal yourself, equip grenades, and quest with Pit Boy. Remember to use it. Switch pages with. Dude, out of the. And even the little thing at the top right! It's turning! Dude, what the crap? Okay. Oh, and I got myself a freaking hammer. Oh my gosh. Okay. I think I'm good with the tutorial. One last thing, you can also run. Press, there we go, I was gonna say. You gotta walk before you can run though, I guess. Okay. Oh, they want me to run out of AP or something? Now to end the tutorial, you need to kill a Mylurk. Prepare yourself. Oh crap! Oh crap, there they are! Oh man, I'm not used to playing a freaking, I'm not used to playing a shooter on, with a controller. Dang, that actually looks like a really good Mylurk. Holy crap. Dude, that actually looks almost better than anything else in this whole experience. Oh, crap. Yeah. It's a tough little guy, isn't it? Die, you son of a gun! Oh, we got bits coming in, too. Holy crap. Oh. Wow. Dang. Wow and whoa. <laughs> I remember the good old Fallout days with Jesus and Sally and everybody. Crying nostalgic tears on these tortillas. What a day. What a game. On tortillas? Wait, what? <laughs> Continue. All right. Wait, so we quit now? To the main menu, maybe, and exit the tutorial like that? This is an insane Fallout experience. Holy crap. So play free room. Free room. Free roam. We got mini games, one swing man, use your overpowered super sledge to hit and send projector projector dons far away. Dude, this is insane. So what's free roam? Like, is it all of the commonwealth available? It's pretty insane if it is. The soul survivor quest activated. Wow. Wow, we man. Ahem. Oh, hello, Wanderer. What are you doing all here by yourself? Unarmed, even. I'm not sure. Oh, dude, there's freaking, there's freaking like quest or dialogue options. 
I'm not sure myself, just wondering. My weapon broke. Get lost, Tin Can. I'm not in the mood for a chat. I'm not sure myself. I don't even know myself. I broke my weapon when I last had a fight. I guess I'm just looking for a new weapon. You know any places I could find some? Well, that's a bad thing to hear. I actually might have some weapons. I also have the Pit Boy, and sadly, I really can't use them. So you can have all. Wow, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Nice meeting someone for once who isn't hostile. It is quite unusual finding someone these days who isn't trying to rob and kill you. All out, all that out of the day. Bye, then. Have a nice day. Oh, wow. It's actually his voice. This is actually remarkably insane how well they recreated this experience within Dreams. Open the pit boy with that. Wow. And yeah, the grammar is a little bit off, says the final death, for sure. I'm just happy with the free roam here. This is pretty insane. Yeah, and obviously the frame rate's a little bit stuttery. I wonder if there's a way. And then, uh, yeah, Matthias says in the chat, it's hard to keep in mind that this is just dreams. Yeah, like, this seems like... I feel like if you were to, like, just look... Like, if you were to tune in, there'd be a little bit of, like, some cues, like the grammar and kind of the systems and all that. But, if like, if you just... If you just look at, at the screenshot right now, other than the hand, which is, like, remarkably wonky, but if you just looked at, you know, this screenshot of this area or something... You probably think I was playing Fallout. Like, even at least Fallout 3. I don't know about Fallout 4, but... I don't know where I'm supposed to go, though. Now, wait a second. Can I kill Mr. Handy? <gasps> I can. Whoa. Whoa. Back up, Mr. Handy. I don't want to kill you, but I will. Actually, I do want to kill you. I started this whole thing. Uh, guys, it's really hard to aim. <laughs> the, the way the, the gun moves when you move the stick. Ah! Die, Mr. Handy! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Whoa! Oh, cool. Now, wait a second. Could I. Yeah, it's a different gun there. Oh wow, my pit boy is like actually on my arm there. Now I could go to my the killer robot. A sentry bot can be found. So I activated that quest. Joe says, why'd you kill him? I just wanted to see if I could. Oh wait, so this is the quest over here. Oh wait, there's a little lift to get off here and go to the bridge. Okay. Wow. The sun's a little dreamy, like the kind of watercolor look. Try the radio on the pit boy? It's all offline. This is pretty insane though, just going up on this bridge. Follow the marker over here. Then enter the ruins. I am not a number says hands are horrendous on dreams, I admit. Oh yeah. It's the way joints and seams work. I bet that could be kind of like you'd have to like joint out each finger, wouldn't you? Make it work properly. Wow. City ruins look amazing. Can you like search this crap? Dude, wow. There's like potatoes in here and everything. Like they fully remade all these assets. Wow, this is pretty crazy. We got the vehicles, definitely got the aesthetic down. I, I definitely recognize this area from um, the Commonwealth, which is pretty crazy that it's so recognizable. <clears throat> uh -oh. There's the sentry bot, gotta take him out. Ah, I don't know if my pistols can't cut it. Oh, there we go. Man, they have a lot of health, and I do not have a lot of health. Wait, I got a stem pack, though. I, I don't have any stem packs. Ah! 
Oh crap, dude, I'm gonna die. Wait, do I have potatoes though? Oh, Wait, I was paused, yo! Cause unnecessary defensive action to be taken, resulting in injury or death. What a freaking jackknob. When you load up the pit boy, the game's supposed to pause. Yeah, it's not a Fallout game if you don't have 99 stim packs and you can't pause the game whenever you darn well please to use all those stim packs. Ah. 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 I don't think because their health just didn't like revive or anything when I died. You can see, like, I just, I'm just gonna spawn right here. And I think I can just attack them again. Yeah, see, they're still here, and their health's still low. Whoa! Is he gonna blow up or something? Oh, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. I thought he was dead. Snikes, man. Completed my quest. <laughs> I got a Nuka Cola as my reward. Okay. Okay. <laughs> That's my reward, huh? <laughs> I can enter the sewers, too. Uh, whatever that means. And it has a nice little load. I mean, this is pretty crazy that someone even made this. Wow, there's even a flashlight ability. Got some ammo here. A stim pack and a grenade. And Baboon says, what a hype stream this has been from slots to fallout. Yeah, for sure. I think I'm gonna try to cut out each of these segments and put them out on YouTube. So let, Let's Plays always kind of underperform compared to like reaction videos and stuff like that. But hopefully they maybe perform kind of well. I'm not too sure. The sewers are so dark. Pixel says, I'm back. Is this still dreams? Yeah, this is pretty crazy. What is this? Whoa! Wait, I don't want that little gun. I want this gun. Man, they're so strong. Ah. That's one down. Oh, he's like pushing his little brother. Okay. Wow, there's a lot of Mirelarks to kill down here. 11 Mirelarks to kill? Destroy the eggs too. Holy shnikes. There's 15 eggs to destroy. Wow. Oh, oh no, it's like a radiation one. Dude, the enemies, I don't know if the environments are the best, but the enemy design is really well done. Uh oh. He mute dude, they had the mutated system in this game. Like, they actually thought of everything. They have mutations, they have the health bars. Like, I think they could dedicate a lot of time just to their enemy design. And it's one of those things that's gonna be a shame that people aren't making more original creations because the fact that someone learned how to even code and develop and design enemies that are capable of mutating and getting stronger and refilling their health bar and all that, like, I feel like, imagine if that same person that made this whole experience just made an original game. Like, without the whole Fallout aesthetic and just was like, this is my survival game. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like people need to be maybe more confident in themselves. Because, like, Pip Gemwalker is amazing because it's such an original idea. It's not like it's Captain Toad's dream averse, you know? It's not like they copied another idea and then just built upon it. Not to say that this isn't amazing to play a Fallout adventure within dreams, because it's definitely cool. But I just think... Especially maybe even like after making something like this. They, someone should then be like, all right, I'm the guy that remade Fallout and now I'm making my own game. Matias says, imagine making your own game but you can't beat it and you rage quit. I don't know if there's the rule with this like there is with um, Mario Maker where you have to be able to beat it in order to upload it. 
Joe says, that's what I was thinking. This would be good, like a resume building platform for people who want to work for game development companies. I don't know. I don't know if it would be Joe, simply because game development studios would use entirely different engines and coding, you know, and all that. So it would be kind of like, like, oh, I made a game in Dreams. And they'd be like, all right, but can you actually make a game with our program? But my hope would be that Dreams would become a platform that is respected in the video game industry to the point that it could be considered something that's like, like they say, the developers of Dreams say they want to get to the point that you could actually sell your Dreams on the PlayStation Store. And so hopefully we get to that point where it's just like, there's games you find online published that are like, this is made in dreams. I'm curious though, how they're gonna go about doing that because when's the cutoff gonna happen where it's like, all right, in dreams you can play the demo, but if you wanna buy the whole game, you have to go into the store. Dizer says, all this makes all this talk makes you think Mario Maker 2 should have had a world system. Dude, this game puts Mario Maker 2's world system and uh, curation system to freaking shame. Like, it's the fact that you can make collections, that you can make, you know, these curated lists, and that you can make all sorts of crap really shows that Nintendo could have done better. But yeah. All right. Well, that's all of the sewer guys, and we destroyed the robot. Oh, wait. Yeah, time to get out of this creepy place. We gotta get out of here. Uh-oh, that death claw is going to come for us, though, isn't it? Uh-oh. Oh, maybe not. I saw that death claw wandering around. I thought he was going to get me. Wait, what? Why did I just die? Coming out of the city ruins. Wait, what? <laughs> I just exited the area and just, like, came out dead. Um... And we got Starlight in the chat coming in saying, hey, wait a second, ladies and gentlemen, we have ourselves a new person alert, new person alert, new person alert, new person alert. New person alert. Welcome to the show, Starlight. The show, Starlight. Gosh. Well, yeah, there we go. That's a couple of missions here in the Fallout Dreams version. Uh, very incredible experience, and I can't wait to see how they develop more quests. And then to see what the creator does beyond using this Fallout structure, maybe making their own survival shooting game. I think it's gonna, I think this person, it's like the quote from Star Wars. I expect great things from you, you know? <laughs> like, I think it's, I think it's something that, uh, it's a surprise to be sure, but a welcome one. So definitely excited to see what else they create and if they're able to maybe somehow find a way through scenes and connecting it all together, if they're able to, yeah, see, unlock new areas. It could be pretty cool. Wait, what's this little guy doing over here? Protect and serve. Yo, what's up? That's awesome. Oh wait, what? Hey! Why is he shooting at me? You're a protector, John. You were supposed to protect me, not destroy me. <laughs> you jackknob! Shutting down unit offline. <laughs> I'm giving that a big old fat thumbs up. Amazing, amazing. Super incredible, super beautiful.